What is up, peoples? Alvin Palantir here to bring you guys the review of uh, One Piece chapter 739. All right, three, I'm um, just going to break it down real quick. Three plot points will follow this uh, chapter. A lot of people were actually complaining um, that I talked to that it was jumping around and skipping around. I will give you guys the same sort of explanation that I always give when people say this. That is Oda's style um, during arcs, usually. Like, the average chapter during an arc like this, he will be jumping around to the different um, point of views of the characters. He rarely, and I mean rarely, stays in one point of view for a whole chapter. I, I would actually say he probably hasn't yet stayed in one point of view for the whole chapter. This time, it wasn't even that bad. It was just three. Three. And that was it. And we had, like, a little mini flashback. Which I don't even think was that bad. Um, mainly because... Um, it was really, really short, and it was good. It was short and packed, small punch. Um, the only real negative I have for this chapter, which it really isn't a negative, it's just my personal gripe, is Lao Ji. Because I really thought he was going to be one of the guys that we get to see just fight. Like, fight an actual... I, I hope he still does get a good fight. But right now, he's kind of getting the shaft. We really don't know what he does yet. We just saw him kick and punch, like, twice, and that's it. Um... The first plot point, though, that I'm going to look over is the one with Treble, how he threw the fucking ship into the building that they were in, and nothing really beyond that happened. Um, I, I think that they, they just, they're they just playing to carry on the plan and somehow disable Sugar, possibly get a fight with Treble, with maybe against Usopp, uh, maybe against Robin. I have no clue where that's even headed for now, so let's not worry about that. There are really, really bigger fish to fry this episode, so that plot point really didn't catch my attention. Um, more so what caught my attention, but not as much as the final one, was Rebecca against Diamante in the arena. That shit looks like it's going somewhere, but for now, Rebecca just got, she just got the bitch slap from Diamante. Like, he just, mm, 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 he just, he just completely just took her out with one hit, with just one solid hit, which was, it was pretty interesting to watch. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I did get some, some pleasure when I saw Rebecca getting hit by that bitch slap. I, I'm not going to lie. But the thing that really stood out, that's really just going to be a hit or a miss, is the toy soldier, okay? Oh my god. All right, so apparently the toy soldier... He was the legendary warrior of the Colosseum. Now, this shit is huge. Why am I saying it's a hit or a miss? It's going to be huge for two main reasons. One, all right, Lao Ji. Lao Ji took this dude out with ease. Lao Ji pretty much just one shot at this dude. And, and he couldn't really fight on. He couldn't really fight on. By the way, side note. The, the, the stuff where people were telling the dude he's just a toy soldier, he can't accomplish anything, that I'm not, I'm not going to lie, it kind of touched me. But I'm, I'm, being, I'm being dead serious. Tell me if you guys felt the same way. I don't mean it like touched me like I was like weeping or I was like in tears or anything like that, but I definitely felt something for the dude. I mean, nobody believes he can do shit. Nobody believes he can do anything to help a situation, but he's trying, all right? So I'm wondering, if Lao Ji easily soloed this dude, how the fuck is he going to compare to Doflamingo, the, the big man himself? That is the main thing I'm having problem um, getting behind here. How this dude is going to really add up when it comes to the big dude, the big Doflamingo. How is he going to deal with that? All right. So, hey, apparently if he's the legendary warrior and he can't fight Lao Ji, um, I'm kind of starting to think the legendary warrior is, is, isn't so legendary, if you catch my drift. But only time will tell. Next chapter, I think we'll get a little more insight of what he can actually do. Maybe he was holding back against Lao Ji. Maybe he has a trump card that he can only use once that he wants to save for Don Flamingo. I have no clue. But hopefully Oda's going to deliver. Again, hit or miss. Chapter, I would actually give the chapter rating an unknown. I usually don't do this, but this chapter for me, I mean, it was a good chapter. But it's really going to depend on the chapters that follow, whether I really think this is going to turn out to be really, really good or possibly quite bad. Anyways, guys, I'll be here. Hope you enjoyed the chapter review. Peace out.